Are you tired of living in a world with the same boring old data tools? A world where data analysis feels like a onerous chore rather than blissful ecstasy. And most importantly, are you tired of feeling like this guy? Wow, I'm so good at coding. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, that was me before I started using Hex, which is basically a collaborative notebook-based environment where you can do data analysis in Python, SQL, or no code. What's up, guys? My name is Gabe. I'm a developer advocate here at Hex, and I'm just gonna quickly walk you guys through what you can expect in this course. All right, so with Hex's notebook style interface, it's really easy for you to pull data into your projects with a fully featured SQL editor. And this comes with autocomplete, caching, and data browsing. So take a look at how easy it is for me to pull some data from our demo Snowflake connection and then return some movie data that I can start analyzing in my project. And the nice thing about these SQL cells is that the output of these cells or these queries are Python data frames. So you can really easily use these in a downstream cell. Now it's not uncommon to draw a blank on the table names, table columns, or data types. But if you have all these memorized, then props to you. Thankfully for the rest of us, and specifically myself, Hex has an integrated data browser that allows you to effortlessly view your table schemas, as well as giving you a preview of what your tables look like so you can determine if it's good for your project. And I get it, sometimes writing those chunky CTEs that make your SQL cells look obnoxiously complicated can be like super aggravating, but in Hex you can easily write queries against the output of previous SQL cells and chain multiple SQL cells together. And this is a pattern that we like to call chained SQL. And this is all without ever touching pandas, but what if we want to show pandas some love? Well, Kung Fu Panda 3 was dropped in 2008. Okay, my bad. If you want to do anything in pandas, or Python for that matter, Hex is fully polyglot. And this just means that the output data frame of your SQL cells can be further manipulated in Python if you like using Python code over SQL, which is crazy. No, that's crazy. Now, a wise man once said, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I say a good data visual is worth a million insights. And with Hex's built-in charting solution, it's actually really easy to build up these gorgeous visualizations in a matter of seconds. And the best part is everything is actually point and click, so I don't even need to worry about remembering the syntax for say a bar graph in my plot lib or something, because who wants to actually remember that? Like, you do? You do? Crazy. And we keep lowering the floor with the addition of our other no-code cells, such as pivots and filters. You can filter data down to the relevant rows in your analysis and answer the important questions, like how many movies has Jennifer Lopez starred in? Once you're done filtering your data and you want to start summarizing it, into the realm of the pivot table. This basically allows you to specify your rows, columns, and what values you want to see, and then Hex takes care of the rest. Oh my god, it can't be. It can't be. It's really that simple? Yes, it's really that simple. Speaking of simple, take your logic and bring it over to the app builder to arrange, hide, and present your findings without showing hundreds of lines of code that someone probably won't even read. Now, can we just take a moment to appreciate this UI? Just... <sighs> Use the cell outline to add or remove cells from your project. And cells in the app builder can be arranged on a grid to make your project flow a little bit better or just to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. Once you're satisfied with how your app looks, you can share it live on the internet or with only a select few. And to send it out to the world, all we need to do is hit this publishing button and Hex will take all of your logic and turn this into an easily digestible app that literally anyone can look at. Your boss, a coworker, your mom, your cat. Literally anyone, it's super easy. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of what we'll be covering in this course. You'll learn about input parameters, data connections, maps, reactive execution, collaboration, and a whole bunch more. So if you're interested in this free course on Hex and want to develop your path to Hex Mastery, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will Hex you. You right there watching this video. I will. Don't make me do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.